Dolphins owner Stephen Ross is responding to backlash over a fundraiser he is hosting for President Trump. Boycotts are being called for some of his, his businesses, and one of his own players is publicly calling him out. Miami Dolphins owner Stephen Ross planning a Hamptons fundraiser for President Donald Trump on Friday. This morning, the Washington Post first reported about the fundraiser for $100,000. You can get a picture with the president, $250,000, and you can listen in on a roundtable discussion. Many are calling for boycotts of Equinox and SoulCycle, which are businesses under Ross's related companies. Equinox released a statement saying they have nothing to do with the event and they do not support it. A spokesperson adding that Mr. Ross is a passive investor and not involved in the management of Equinox or SoulCycle. However, Ross is the chairman and majority owner of the parent company. On Twitter, actor Billy Eichner asking Equinox, quote, what's your policy for canceling memberships once a member finds out your owner is enabling racism and mass murder? Dolphins player Kenny Stills also taking to Twitter to voice his concern. He posted an image of Rise's mission, a nonprofit founded by Ross. Still saying, quote, you can't have a nonprofit with this mission statement, then open your doors to Trump. Stills has been vocal about racial inequality and one of the NFL players who started kneeling during the national anthem before games. Ross is one of several NFL team owners who has publicly supported President Trump. He responded to the backlash with this statement, saying in part, quote, I have known Donald Trump for 40 years, and while we agree on some issues. We strongly disagree on many others, and I have never been bashful about expressing my opinions. Ross adds he is an outspoken champion of a variety of issues and that he will support both sides to address challenges pertaining to those issues. And the editor in chief of Out Magazine also called for fashion designers to boycott Ross's Hudson Yards in New York City for Fashion Week. It's one of the largest and priciest real estate developments in U.S. history. If you'd like to read Stephen Ross's full statement, we have it on our website, CBSMiami.com.